They heal us, they calm us, they save our lives. They inspire, motivate, and innovate. They are the doctors of Scripps. I want you to uh, start um, touching the red squares. Doctors like Michael Lobatz, who heads up neurology for all of Scripps. He's known for his expertise with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and traumatic brain injury. It's a wonderful thing to see a person regain their ability to interact with their family, to go back to work, to walk again when they couldn't walk or speak again when they couldn't speak, to tell stories, recite poetry, and just be a member of their family and their community. There's nothing better than a physician watching their patient improve. Hey, Steve. Hi, doctor. How are you doing? How are you? Doctors like urologist Carol Salem, whose specialty is minimally invasive robotic surgery. Back in 2008, she treated famed San Diego State Aztecs coach Steve Fisher, who had prostate cancer. Steve remains cancer-free. Hey, Nancy. For cardiologist Dr. Matthew Lux, it's all about making patients comfortable, taking away their fear. I try and treat every patient as either it were myself or a family member. And what would I want if I were sitting in that chair? You can take the, the treatment time and shorten it. There's radiation oncologist Dr. Carl Rossi, who's treated more than 9,500 prostate cancer patients using proton therapy, one of the top doctors in the world for this type of prostate cancer treatment. No chest pain or... No chest pain or no, nothing like that. Doctors like cardiologist Paul Tierstein. People come from all over the world to be treated by Dr. Tierstein, including Mother Teresa, who was secretly whisked in from Tijuana in the early 1990s with life-threatening heart disease. Dr. Tierstein took care of her heart. She continued her humanitarian work for another six years. There's only a few things in life that are really important, and that's your friends and your family and helping people, and it's a great way to help people. At the Shiley Musculoskeletal Center at Scripps Clinic Torrey Pines, orthopedic surgeon Dr. Stephen Kopp and his team offer one-stop shopping for your worn out back, hips, knees, arms, legs, and feet. It provides uh, a wonderful environment for patients to have care. And then you come here in our beautiful infusion center for your treatments. Doctors like Marin Xavier, she has always wanted to take care of folks with cancer. Patients are very sick and you, it requires the most humanism and the advances in science combined. It really is a calling and the most amazing thing about my job is saving lives. And I know you're gonna do just great. Let me have a listen to your lungs. What does primary care doctor Dana Arnstein treasure? I feel like I am given a gift that I get to be somebody's doctor and get to hear what's going on in people's lives and sometimes they're sharing things that they don't share with anybody else and it's a, such a, a warmth and a trust we have. I know you told me you, when you had first come in we knew that your blood sugars were running a little high. Uh-huh. And as Doctors like endocrinologist oh, Athena Phyllis Simikas who oversees the Scripps Whittier Diabetes Institute which treats more than 27,000 diabetes patients around the county. Yes. His blood pressure seems to be holding very well. Yep, he's been out of bed twice a day. He's doing great. There's trauma surgeon Dr. Imad Dandan, the calming presence for folks who show up at the ER with severe injuries. Why did I become a trauma surgeon? It gives me the chance to take care of patients that have come to my emergency room at the lowest point in their lives sometimes in an accident that was not planned, and they put their trust in me. And my job is to help them back make them better, and sometimes save their lives. And what is their better satisfaction than that? Any problems since I last saw you? Doctors like Ray Lin, a radiation oncologist who has devoted his life to treating cancer. This looks great. He's lined up perfectly. I love being a cancer doctor. I get to know my patients really well, as well as their families. I love the research and the advancements in technology. And I love giving them hope because cancer is such a bad disease, but we have so much to offer these days. It's a really great feeling to be able to give patients hope. At Scripps, we have roughly 2,600 doctors who take care of you from head to toe, exceptionally skilled doctors at the top of their field who exude warmth and compassion, dedicated to making you feel better day after day, year after year, with a laser focus on the latest research and technology. 
Technology is what excites Dr. Steve Steinhubel, our Director of Digital Medicine. He's testing digital devices to take care of patients wherever they happen to be. The power of your heart is Scripps Chief Academic Officer Dr. Eric Topol runs the genomics program. He's built a worldwide following based on research that a person's genetic code can determine their risk for diseases, particularly their risk for a heart attack. How's everything? Great. Good. You're There's good. breast surgeon Dr. Mary nice. Wild, who's conducting a clinical trial Great. for breast cancer patients using the new Mobitron. This machine delivers a week's worth of radiation in just one minute. We can now put cells in different layers of cartilage. Dr. Daryl DeLima is doing groundbreaking work with stem cells and 3D printers, hoping to one day regrow lost cartilage inside arthritic knees. It changed my life immediately. Martin Adler battled Parkinson's disease for 12 years. He had trouble walking. He needed help getting dressed. He was losing his independence. Dr. Melissa Hauser performed DBS surgery on Martin. Deep brain stimulation. Electrodes are implanted deep in the brain. They send out electrical impulses that helps control muscle movement. We can program those symptoms out with a little handheld computer. Now look at him. Martin is riding his bike 10 miles a week. The stiffness and the slowness are gone. He's able to dress himself. The DBS surgery, it's given him back his life. They care about your, your whole um, physical and emotional uh, reaction to this disease. And I just felt very confident that they, they were gonna provide me with excellent care. I mean, second to none. These are just a few of the stellar doctors at Scripps, but there are so many more. You probably have your own favorites, and as we recognize National Doctors' Day, we hope you'll please consider making a contribution to Scripps in honor of a doctor who has made a difference in your life. Scripps is a not-for-profit healthcare system, so all the money you donate goes right back into the system to provide world-class healthcare for our patients. Your donations help fund groundbreaking research and clinical trials, new technology, genetics testing, advanced training for our doctors, everything to make it better for you, our patients. Please donate whatever you can. No amount is too small, and every dollar is critically important. And please fill out the tribute card so we can let that special doctor know you've been thinking about them. We thank you for your generosity that allows us to continue to provide you with world-class health care right here in San Diego at Scripps. Because through philanthropy, we help to heal, enhance, and save lives.